Artorius Vigo is the uncle of Frangela Vigo, and just like her, he was stationed in Toussaint. Here, he acted as the main mage for the Juco family, and he was the only one that knew about the secret area in the Beauclerc Palace that was hidden by a powerful illusion. Not even the Juco family knew about this place. However, as he eventually got older, he passed down the information of the hidden area to his niece, Frangela. Artorius Vigo specialized himself in illusions. He was the one that created the Land of a Thousand Fables, which can be seen in the Blood and Wine DLC for The Witcher 3. His goal was to create a place where Anna Henrietta and Sylvia Anna could play out their dreams in safety. However, after he left, his niece had taken over the place and the spell didn't receive necessary maintenance and slowly got more and more dangerous. While in the books and games he was just a mage from Toussaint that never really appears, in the Netflix show he seems to have been given a much bigger role. So maybe in the future he'll deserve more than one minute of lore. As this is the first one minute lore video I've made, I'll explain the concept and thoughts behind these videos. In one minute, or a little over one minute, I'll talk about a character, place or event that is too small for an entire video. I'll try to upload one of these every week, alongside my normal longer videos. I was thinking about a way to be able to do more videos, and even though many other channels would go for less play of the games, I prefer to stick to the lore videos at this point. I would like to hear your feedback on this concept, and if you got any suggestions for other characters, places or events. Thank you. Till the next video. Bye.